So how much does it cost to buy a house here in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada? In today's video, I'm gonna do a two part series of what you can buy in the various price brackets here in St. Catharines. Now in part one of this series, I'm gonna show you exactly what you can buy from 350,000 to 500,000, and then 500,000 to 600,000, and then 600,000 to 700,000. I'm gonna actually show you some sold properties that were actually recently sold here in the St. Catharines area. We're gonna talk a little bit about them. I'm gonna pull them up on the screen. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the area that they are located in. Now this video has chapters as you can see below. So if there's a specific price point that you're more interested in and wanna see more of, please feel free to skip ahead to the chapter that suits your price point. If this is your first time on my channel and you wanna know everything about what it's like living in Niagara from work, play, eating, buying and selling real estate and literally everything else in between, then make sure you do one thing and hit like, subscribe and tap that little notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post up a new video just like this one. What's up everyone? If we haven't met yet, my name is Andrew Kulakowski and I am a local real estate agent and team lead of Living in Niagara Real Estate Group at EXP Realty and born and raised, you guessed it, right here in the Niagara region. Now my team helps hundreds of people every single year buy and sell real estate here. We absolutely love it. We also help local residents and perhaps someone like yourself that's considering relocating to the Niagara area. We have people reach out all the time. So if that person's you and you're thinking about making that move, whether it be tomorrow or in two years, then make sure you do one thing and reach out to us. You're welcome to call, text, email, schedule a Zoom call, but just remember that we've got your back when making that move to the Niagara region. All right, to begin the video, we're gonna start in the lowest price category, starting at $350,000. Now I know what you're probably already thinking, what can you actually buy here in St. Catharines for $350,000? Now the reality of it is not much. There aren't many options here in St. Catharines nowadays that you actually can buy for $350,000, but they still do exist. Now I'm gonna pull up some sold properties and actually show you the product that you can expect to find at that price range. It's a single family home, uh, fully detached. It's located in and around the area of Welland Ave, kind of between Geneva Street and Lake Street. Now this specific home actually just recently sold for $350,000. Now a little bit about this home, it's a three bedroom, two bath, 978 square feet. So not a big home. And as you can probably see, the house obviously needs some TLC. It's got some overgrown shrubs and trees in the front of the house. And I can just kind of tell by looking at it that yeah, it probably needs a fair amount of work. Now also in the listing, it also is being sold as is, whereas, so that is a key indicator that yes, there probably does need some work on this property. Now again, as you can see for $350,000, not a bad house. Even the lot size is a 40 by 101, again, located downtown uh, in not the worst area. All right, and the next property that I'm going to show you, this one sold recently for $360,000. Now this is a condo in an apartment style or condo building. Now this is an older building. It's located in the north end, so just north of the QEW. So actually again, location is really, really good. Now as mentioned, it is an old building, hence why the price is the way it is. Now this unit is a two bedroom, one bathroom, and it was located on the second floor. It has a balcony and the square footage is 800 square feet. Now, the monthly condo fees for something like this, bear in mind, this is obviously something to contend with and, and to consider when looking at an apartment condo, even considering the low price tag. Now, the condo fees here are $548. Now, that typically includes building insurance, the maintenance, the exterior maintenance, cable TV, the common elements, uh, heat hydro parking, and in this case, it actually includes the water as well. So all of your utilities are included. Uh, so a great option for a first time buyer that wants to get their foot in the door, doesn't necessarily want a single family home because of all the maintenance, 
but does want to get into the game of owning a piece of real estate, this is a fantastic option. Now, the next property that I'm gonna show you is a single family detached again, just recently sold for $365,000. So this specific one is located in the Burley Hill District in St. Catharines. So if you're unfamiliar with that area, you're closer to the Meriton slash Thoral border specifically. Now this house was, it clearly shows that it is a rental property. So obviously an investor owns this property and there are tenants in the property. But given the fact that the house sold for $365,000, actually in my opinion, a pretty good deal. Now this house is three bedroom, one bath, 921 square feet. Now there isn't any pictures of the inside of the property, typically just because there are tenants in the house. Uh, so they didn't take any pictures. So hard to gauge what it looks like from the inside. Um, but from the outside, it looks pretty decent. It looks clean. It's got a new front porch that's been built. There's a, uh, a good sized driveway and it's actually not on a bad size lot, 25 by 165 feet. So it's narrow, but it is deep. Um, another great option again for 365,000 bucks here in St. Catharines, uh, not a bad option. All right, and the next property that I'm gonna show you, we're gonna pull it up on the screen here. This is another single family detached home. Now this one's located in the East Chester district or neighborhood of St. Catharines, close to the QEW. Specifically, uh, it's in between Vine Street and Niagara Street. Again, literally just kind of post up beside the QEW. Now this location isn't known to be the best, but again, it's actually not the worst location. Now this one sold recently for $400,000. Um, this house has 939 square feet. It's a four bedroom as well and one bathroom. So it's, it's a good size. It's got four bedrooms, so it's great for a family. Uh, the lot size is also very reasonable, 33 by 90 feet. Um, it doesn't have a basement, this one. It's a story and a half, but it's got a beautiful front porch as you can see. It's got a good size driveway. I mean, realistically, even inside, you know, you've got some updates. It's been freshly painted. Even the windows look like they've been updated. Uh, so this is what you could expect to find for $400,000 here in St. Catharines. And next up, this specific home is a single family detached home again, um, located in the Western Hill area of St. Catharines. So just outside of downtown on the West end of the city. Now this is a wartime bungalow it would have been built in the 1940s. It's a four bedroom, two bathroom, and it has 966 square feet above grade. It also has a basement. So you can see it's a nice clean little home. It has, uh, it has a fair amount of updates in it, as you can see, nicely painted. It's got a walk out to the backyard. It has a fully finished basement that doesn't look that old at all. I can tell by the finishes. It also has another three piece bathroom in the basement. Uh, lot size 40 by 68, so not a deep lot. Uh, but it is a private and it is fully fenced lot. Again, this is a really, really popular location. Uh, number one, given that the GO train station is in that vicinity, uh, it's easy to get downtown. It's also super easy to access uh, 4th Avenue and the Martindale shopping district. And this specific home sold recently for $460,000. And next up, this specific home is located in the Secord Woods neighborhood of St. Catharines. Now the home itself, as you can see, it looks like it's situated on a big corner lot. It actually has two garages. It's got one attached to the house. It also has a detached garage behind it. Love the double car driveway. It's full concrete. This house has two bedroom, one bathroom, and it's 1,040 square feet. Now this one doesn't have a basement from what the listing states. It was built in 1954. The pictures look great. It looks super clean and it looks like it's got a lot of updates. Also in a really good school district as well. And again, this one sold for $500,000. And for your information in the price range of 350 to $500,000, there are currently 60 properties listed within the St. Catharines area. These homes are priced and were sold from $500,000 to $600,000. Now the first property that we're going to talk about is located north of the QEW, which will be considered the north end of St. Catharines, actually located in a fantastic district. Now this house is just south of Lakeshore in the Geneva area. Now this home was built, would have been built in the 1950s. It's an all brick bungalow, as you can see. Uh, it sold recently for $505,000. Now it was listed at $525,000. So clearly somebody got what I think a pretty good deal. 
Now this home has three plus one bedrooms and it has two bathrooms. It's 960 square feet. The lot size, what you're going to find in the north end, you're going to get really good lot sizes. Now the lot size here is 60 by 196 feet. Now looking at the pictures, outside again shows that it is a little bit dated. It has a two car detached garage in the back. And looking at the inside of it, yes, it absolutely needs you know, it needs some cosmetic work, but it appears it's nothing crazy. This would have been a great home for somebody that wants to uh, move in and over time spend some money on, or perhaps uh, purchase the property and do some sort of major renovation. Now, this specific area easily supports homes anywhere from six hundred and fifty to seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, just like this one that are complete and fully renovated. And next up, this semi-detached two-story home is a three-bedroom, one plus one bathroom and it is a thousand square feet with a basement. Uh, this home is sitting on a lot that's approximately 35 by 115 feet. So it's a great lot. Um, as you can see from the photos inside, it has been recently renovated. It looks like the floors, doors, trim, uh, everything has been done. Now there's no appliances in this picture, but you can see they've opened up the kitchen. Looks like a very, very nice clean home and it recently sold for 520. $5,000. Now next up, here is another single family detached home, again, in the north end of the city. For this kind of price point, it looks like there's been some fantastic deals. Now this home is in the Lake and Lakeport district again. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a single family home. It doesn't have a garage. It's got a carport. Uh, this home would have been built in the early 70s in this neighborhood. It's a three plus one bedroom, two bathroom, and it's just over a thousand square feet with a full basement. And looking at the inside, yeah, it's got like a galley style kitchen. It's a little bit dated. It's got like dusty rose countertops in the, uh, in the kitchen. This home is sitting on a good sized lot, 47.9 by 105 feet. Uh, and looking at the pictures inside, uh, again, you're gonna get something that's slightly dated. As you can see, it's got wallpaper, you know, it's got a dated kitchen, um, but looks like a nice solid home. Again, in a fantastic area in North St. Catharines, and it's really close to some good schools. This property sold recently for $565,000. Now next up, this is for all my people who like century style homes. This one is a two-story single family detached home located kind of like in the downtown or just outside of downtown St. Catharines, more what I would call midtown. Um, this house is 1110 square feet. It's got three bedroom, one bath. It recently sold for $579,000. If you look at these photos, you could tell the previous owners did a lot of work on this property. Really, really love the inside. They've kind of taken some modern flair, opened up. They did a brand new kitchen, kind of a traditional feel as well. They did some pot lights. Love the nice bright white kitchen, stainless appliances. This one's sitting on, given that the fact that it is downtown, you're not going to get uh, as big a lot there. But the lot size on this one is 33 by 110. It's fully fenced. And this house would have been built in the early 1900s. And our last property that I'm going to show you in this price category, this one sold recently at $600,000. So right at the top of that price bracket. Now this one's located in Secord Woods. It is a semi detached home. Now why this home sold for 600,000, given the fact that it is a semi detached home is because the house has been fully renovated. Now this is a back split. This home would have been built in the seventies in this neighborhood. It's a three plus one bedroom and it has two bathrooms and the square footage on this one is 1,030 square feet. Uh, the lot size on this one is 30 by 109, so it's got a great size lot. It's a fully fenced yard. Uh, and as you can see from the pictures inside, they've done a fantastic job with the renovation and the staging on this property. It's got a nice bright white kitchen. Uh, looks like brand new appliances on this one. Give it a back split. You've got three bedrooms up on the upper level. The bathrooms look great and it has a fully finished basement as well and a gas fireplace. So another great example of what you can find here in St. Catharines at the $600,000 mark. And currently in the price point of 500 to $600,000, there are 68 properties listed here in St. Catharines. Now moving on to our next price bracket in the price range of 600,000 to $700,000. Now what can you buy in that price range here in St. Catharines? 
that I'm going to show you. Now, this first property that I'm going to show you is located in the heart of North End St. Catharines. I've sold a couple homes on this street and I absolutely love this neighborhood. Now, this specific one is what we would say is in the Niagara Linwell district. So in a great school district, there's a lot of great parks close by. Now, this specific bungalow, as you can see from the photos, is actually backing on to a vacant land or a school, which is nice. So you have no rear neighbors. It recently sold for $625,000. In my opinion, a fantastic deal for the product you're getting. Now this all brick bungalow, as you can see, it has a garage, it's got a fully fenced yard, it has a shed, the three bedroom, two bath, and it's 1170 square feet. Now this lot size as well, given the north end typically, you're getting a larger lot size as mentioned, so you're in a 50 by 100 foot lot. And if you look at the photos from the inside of the house, it's a very clean and tidy home. Yes, it appears that it's somewhat dated, but uh, I can tell you from personal experience that uh, these homes are gems. If you're looking for something that is going to maintain and increase in value and time because it is in such a desirable area, then this is definitely an area that you want to consider. Um, great for doing renovations. So every dime that you put into these types of homes typically you will get a great ROI. Now the next property that we have up here is located in the Secord Woods neighborhood. This one recently sold for $640,000. A little bit different than some of the ones I've showed you. This is a two-story home. As you can see, it's fully sided, a nice attractive home from the exterior. It's got a nice covered front porch. It's got some nice dormers. It's got a single car garage. Looks like a space in the driveway for two vehicles. This one was a three bedroom three bathroom and 1300 square feet. Now it would have been a newer home. This was built in 1988, sitting on a lot size of 43 by 110. So a great lot size. Uh, and it looks like from the inside of the home, it's been well maintained. It's had updates through the years. Looks like a pretty traditional two story floor plan. Great for families with young kids, because again, this is located in a great school district and close to all the amenities. Now the next property that I'm gonna show you is a townhouse. Now this townhouse development is fairly new. This house is probably about two years old. It's an end unit, as you can see here. Now this one just sold for $651,000. Now it has two bedroom, three bathroom, and the square footage is 1,185 square feet. Now the location of this one here is in what we call the Lincoln Mall District. So closer to the Welland Ave Bunting area, which is great. It's super close to all the big box stores, the Walmart there, there's grocery stores. Uh, you're close to the QBW as well. Uh, this development here has a lot of new homes that's been built over the past five to six years. So if you're looking for something new, this is a great option for you. Also in these ones, they are freehold townhomes. There are monthly fees, but the monthly fees are only $160. And that is for the maintenance of the exterior of the actual complex itself. Um, and same goes with the grass cutting and snow removal. That's included in that price. And moving on to the next couple of properties that I'm going to show you. Now, these ones are priced in the upper tier of our six to $700,000 price bracket. Now, this specific one is located in the north end of the city in the Niagara Linwell area. Now, it's a raised bungalow, as you can see. Uh, it's got a single car garage. It was recently sold for $695,000. Uh, three plus one bedroom, two bath, and 1,100 square feet. Now, this is a very, very common style home in the North End. A lot of these neighborhoods with these types of homes were built in the late 60s through to the late 70s. Uh, now, this specific one sits on a good size lot, 63 by 100 feet, which you could pretty much expect to find anywhere in these neighborhoods. Now, inside the house, you know, you can tell obviously it's been well maintained. Uh, by the previous owners. And there's been updates through the years. It's not recently renovated by any means, but as you can see, it is completely move and ready. Now these make for great homes for young families, because again, the neighborhoods are great. You're close to good schools as well. Maybe people that are looking to make that second move. They've already purchased their first home and they need a little bit more space and they want to get into perhaps a better neighborhood. Um, this is definitely a great option. And the last property that I'm gonna show you, very similar to the one I just showed you, again, just to give you a better idea, again, of what you're gonna get for this kind of money. This one recently sold for $700,000. 
It is the exact same. It is a raised bungalow from what you can see there. It is a three bedroom, two bathroom, 1,060 square feet located in the Lake and Lakeport neighborhood. So an A plus neighborhood and A plus location. Uh, the lot size, 50 by 110. This home would have been built again in the 1970s. And as you can see from the interior of this one, uh, it's had obvious updates through the years. Looks like it's got some new flooring, fresh paint. It has a recently renovated kitchen as well, new appliances. Now this one, as you can see, doesn't have a garage. It has a carport, but why the price is the way it is, is because it looks like it was recently renovated throughout the entire house. It looks like a brand new flooring. It looks like a brand new kitchen. This one has a walk up from the family room in the back as well. Fully fenced yard. Looks like a very, very nice clean house. Well, there you have it guys. Those are some great examples of what you can expect to find in the various price points here in St. Catharines. Now let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Do you think that your money stretches far here in St. Catharines and you get a lot of bang for your buck? I'd love to hear from you. And if you're thinking about buying or selling anytime soon, make sure to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. And we'll see you guys all on part two of this video.